Hello everyone! 안녕하세요! Welcome back to Christine's Fun Fun Korean Conversation class. Now, it's finally, no, not final actually, it's already lesson 7. What you're gonna look at is making an appointment. Suppose that you are on a business trip in Korea and you're, you have to make an appointment for your meeting. And even though you can speak Korean, if you speak this expression a little, even a little in Korean, your like uh, other other companies in Korea will be so delighted by your the knowledge of Korean. So I think this is a little more important than other things if you're on a business trip in Korea. Okay, so as usual, we I have four different expressions regarding lesson seven, making an appointment. Let's look at it. Making an appointment, number one, do you have time? Do you have time? So you just bumped in your friends or <clears throat> the people, uh, your, the people working in the company and you could ask them, do you have time tomorrow or today? And the next question is, what time should we meet? What time should we meet? And make an appointment and make a time. And we're going to learn about time. It's, a, it's a like a alphabets. When you are young, you, I think you learned alphabets from the kindergarten, right? It's like from A to Z. So it's a... It's a kind of long and hard to pronounce and how hard to remember, but that's necessary. So this is the, this is the same. So time is a really hard to remember, but this is really important. If you don't know about time in Korean, even though you can make a point, you can ask these questions in Korea, in Korean, you cannot understand and you cannot even make an appointment with Korean people. Okay, so time, I prepared this part. It's a little hard, but believe me, you can get through this. And the last one, see you then, see you then. After making an appointment, okay, see you then, see you tomorrow, like this. Okay, so four different expressions. Do you have time? Do you, what time should we meet? And time and see you then. Okay, so let's look at the first expression. Do you have time? Do you have time? What's time? First of all, time means 시간. 시간. One more time, 시간, 시간. And next, do you have, oh, I know this one. Of course you do know because you learned this expression before at the shopping, uh, no, uh, uh, shopping class and at the restaurant and what was that, uh, at the supermarket. From three classes, you learned and you used this expression. Of course you do, and you have to, right? Do you have, what's this? 있어요? 있어요? So do you have 있어요? What's time? Time is 시간. 시간. So do you have time? Do you have time? 시간 있어요? 시간 있어요? One more time. Time means 시간. Do you have 있어요? And do you have time? 시간 있어요? 시간 있어요? So you just bumped into Christine, your Korean teacher. And you want to ask her, Oh, Christine, do you have time? How can you tell in Korean? Christine, 시간 있어요? 시간 있어요? Okay? Good. Let's see the examples. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. If you just ask, like, do you have time? And I would ask back to you, what, when? Today? Tomorrow? When? Because you didn't mention about the exact time here. So tomorrow 
내일내일내일 Alright, and today, 오늘오늘오늘 One more time, tomorrow, 내일내일 and today, 오늘오늘 So, for instance, I prepared this sentence for you. Do you have time? You know this expression. Do you have time? 시간있어요 Tomorrow. Tomorrow. 내일내일 Right. So, do you have time tomorrow? In Korean, 내일시간있어요 One more time. 내일시간있어요 So, do you have time tomorrow? Tomorrow means 내일 in Korean. So, 내일시간있어요 What about this one? Do you have time today? Do you have time today? What's today? 오늘오늘 So, do you have time today in Korean is today? 오늘 Do you have time? 시간있어요시간있어요 Okay, and this is this is used for the meeting appointment, but it is also used when you ask your girlfriend or boyfriend to out. Uh, when you ask them out, like, oh, maybe you feel you you if you like. A Korean girl, and you wanna ask her out for a dinner or something like that. In this case, also you could add, you could use the expression, like if you like Korean girl named Jung, and Jung, do you have time tomorrow? 내일시간있어요 which means I'm now asking you out for a dinner or something like that. Okay, so. Uh, when you make an appointment for your meeting or for your date, whatever it is, do you have time tomorrow? Do you have time today? Do you have time? You could use this expression. Okay? Do you have time? 시간있어요 Tomorrow. 내일 Okay? Good. And next expression. Now you asked. The question to your friends or your coworkers, and they said, "Yes, 네 I have time tomorrow today." And now you have to set up time, right? So, what time should we meet? What time should we meet? And what? Oh, as I remembered, what means more? More. Remember, I told you what is diff, what has、uh, what is important. So, what means what? But Christine, this what has different meaning. I don't think this is what. Yes, you're right. This what is what, what, what. Why? Because what has、uh, three different、uh, ways to be used. But this what is mia because this is combined with time number. So in this case, what means mia? Mia. Okay, you got it. So what when what is used with number when they are together here? Time what is not mia. What means miot, miot? You got it. So what miot and time? She, she. Oh, you told me time is she gone, she gone. But time that she gone means over hours. You got it. But this time means a clock, like two o'clock, three o'clock. That. Mean that is in Korean, she, she. Okay, so do you have time? The time means over hours, over time, a day. But this time, she 
is a clock, like one hour, two hour, three hour, and one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock. Okay, so two thirty-five. In this case, two shi. Okay, so what is miot? Miot, and time is shi. Shi, and so what time? What time? You can get this together. So what time means? Miot shi, miot shi. However, there is one more thing added here, which is e, e. Why? Because when you're asked this question, what time is it now, or what time are you gonna see your parents? You could say you could say at three o'clock. At it's a time part particle, at, right? So, like in English, in Korean, we add time particle after time here. So, what time? 몇 시? 에. 몇 시? 에. It's at. Okay? So, what time means 몇 시? But, when you're talking about the time, you have to add time particle e, e. So, 몇 시 e. And should we meet? Should we meet? 만날까요? 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 One more time. 만날까요? So what means miot? It also has different meaning, wa. But when it's get when it's uh, combined with time numbers, what means miot? Remember, keep this in your mind. And time it's shigan. It's over hours. But when you're talking about the like one o'clock, two o'clock, that kind of time, that's hour shi hour. Then what time means 몇 시? However, like in English, when you're talking about time, I'm gonna see my parents at three o'clock. At before time, you add you put at. Likewise, in Korean, you need time particle after time here. So 몇 시 에? Are you guys following me? Good. And should we meet? 만날까요? 만날까요? Okay, good. Let's see examples. What time should we meet? What's what time? What? 몇? Time? 시? And don't forget the time particle. 에. 몇 시? 에. Should we meet? 만날까요? What time? 몇 시에? Should we meet? 만날까요? The reason why I divided each part in Korean is to help you to understand this expression. If I just tell you, okay, what time should we meet means 몇 시에 만날까요? If I just tell you like this, you have to just memorize this long sentence, which is impossible for you because it's a basic Korean class. So I just divided this each word for you. Hence, you have to understand what word means in Korean, then combine these factors together, then make a Korean sentence. Okay? It's, it's going to be much easier than just to memorize the whole sentence here. Okay? So, 몇 시에 만날까요? Good. And now, you ask your friends, do you have time tomorrow? And your friend said yes. And you ask another question, what time should they meet? Then, you have to tell them what time exactly are you gonna see your friends right that's why I prepared timetable here oh my god it's too long how 
possibly I could remember these each numbers. It's okay, don't worry. I'm not asking you to memorize this at just once enough in your first try trial. I'm asking you to understand that we have these numbers for time. And if you're just getting used to listening, even listening, this express these words, even when you have a meeting like at one o'clock, two o'clock, and you can understand, oh, they're saying they want to see me at one o'clock, two o'clock. Okay? If you can memorize all these things, it's really great, but I'm not pushing you, I'm not asking you to memorize everything here. Just I'm telling you, I'm teaching you, we have these numbers for time. Okay? So, don't be intimidated. Don't be so worried about these numbers. Just to follow me. Okay? And one. Han, what's she? Time, o'clock. So, one o'clock, I just uh, removed a clock, but which means one o'clock anyway. So, one, han, o'clock, she. Han, she. And next one, two, two, o'clock, she. So, two o'clock, two, she. Two, she. And three, se. And three o'clock, se, she. Se, she. And four, ne. Ne. Four o'clock, ne, she. Ne, she. And five, ta, sot. Ta, sot. O'clock. Ta so si. Ta so si. Okay, one more time. One o'clock. Han si. Two o'clock. Tu si. Three o'clock. Se si. Four o'clock. Ne si. Five o'clock. Ta so si. Okay, and move on. Six. Ya so. And o'clock, she. Seven, il go. Il go. O'clock, she. And eight, yo dar. Yo dar. O'clock, she. And nine, a hop. A hop. O'clock, she. Ten. Yer o'clock she okay go back to six six o'clock ya sot she ya sot she seven o'clock il go she il go she eight o'clock ya dar she ya dar she nine o'clock a hop she a hop she. Ten o'clock, your she. Your she. Oh, where's eleven and twelve? Eleven is. What's eleven? Ten plus one. Right? And what's ten? Your. What's one? Go back to here. Han. So eleven o'clock is Yar Han Shi. Yar Han Shi. Just remember eleven is ten plus one. And what's ten? Yar. What's one? Han. So eleven o'clock is Yar Han Shi. Okay, Kirsi, what's twelve? What's twelve anyway? Ten plus two is twelve, right? So what's ten? Yar, two, two. So twelve o'clock is your two she. Your two she. You got it. So now you learned numbers for time from one to twelve. 
I know. I used to teach Korean in America, and my students all had a hard time to remember this time in Korean. But if you keep practicing and memorizing this expression, and you will just get it later, and you will be so amazed. Oh, how could I remember this? Because you practiced a lot. Okay, so don't be frustrated and try to practice each number and and put in the clock beside you. And oh, it's one o'clock. What's one o'clock? Hanshi. Okay, good. And the last expressions. Woo! Last one. See you. See you now. You ask, do you have time and what time should it mean? Okay, let's maybe one o'clock, two o'clock. Then, okay, see you then. It's done. The last part of the conversation. See you then. See you. Ba yo. Ba yo. See you. Ba yo. Ba yo. Then. Good day. Good day. Good day. For instance, if you set up schedule at two o'clock, and good day, good day is referring to two o'clock, right? So see you, pa yo, then good day, good day. So see you then, good day, pa yo, good day, pa yo. Okay, it's simple, right? Good day, pa yo. See you then. Good day, pa yo, and bye. 안녕히 가세요. Remember, goodbye. Okay. Now I'm asking to keep track of the expressions you learned so far. Okay, that's it. Four expressions today. It was hard. It's okay. Just uh, you can realize how many expressions you've learned today, but finally you will know it because these uh, these all expressions are really important. And the last one, as usual, I will have you review all the expressions. Do you have time tomorrow? Do you have time tomorrow? It's easy, right? What's tomorrow? That's right. 내일 do you have 있어요? Time, 시간. So in Korean, 내일 시간 있어요? 내일 시간 있어요? 내일 시간 있어요? And then, okay, yes, I have time. Mm, what time should we meet? Oh, it's meet. I'm really sorry. I also misspelled this one. What time should we meet? It's not eat. I'm really sorry, and it won't happen again. I'm sorry. So what time should we meet? Not eat. Meet. 몇 시에 만날까요? 몇 시에 만날까요? 몇 시에 만날까요? And one o'clock. Remember? That's good. 한 시. 한 시. And see you then. And now you just made the appointment at one o'clock. And okay, that's good. See you then. Good day, pa yo. Good day, pa yo. Okay, good. Whew. Yes, you did a really good job, even though it was hard for you to memorize and follow me learning about all the numbers for time. And I apologize again about the misspelled uh, here, misspelled questions here. It won't happen again. I will be more careful about that. Okay, and next time I will come back with taking a taxi. Oh, finally, transportation. We have a really good transportation system in Korea. Subway, taxi, and bus. But taking a taxi, usually taxi driver cannot speak English. So if you know a little expressions about that, it's going to be really helpful for you to travel Korea. Okay? And you did a really good job, and see you next time. 안녕히 계세요.